morning, Bante. Good morning. Good one, Saturday, Bante. Morning, Bante. Unless otherwise your conscious decision. Huh? And even then, it is not by electric way. Okay. Um, Good morning, Bante. Good morning. Good morning, Bante. Good morning. Uh, okay. Good morning, Bante. Uh, okay, good morning. Uh, uh, good morning, Bante. Good morning. Are you sad, okay? Sad, sad, sad. Okay, good morning. Uh, <laughs> Happy birthday. Okay. Bonte. Okay. Okay, now let us begin. You turn off your devices so that you can listen to my talk. Today, I'm going to speak on what is called practice. Practice. The uh, when you hear the word practice, you or uh, you might think of uh, meditation practice. This, of course, is a kind of meditation practice that I'm going to talk about, but in different way. That is uh, called. Uh, Practice that is painful with sluggish direct results. Practice that is painful with quick direct results. Practice which is pleasant with sluggish direct results. Practice which is which is uh, Pleasant with pleasant direct results. Four types of practice. Now let us see what these four are. Uh, there are Uh, practice with uh, uh, with sluggish direct results. Uh, someone by nature is strongly prone to lust and often experience pain and dejection born of lust. When the lust arises, this person is lustful uh, by nature. When some people are more uh, greed-oriented, uh, their lust is very, very strong. And they experience pain. From lust to never experience pleasure. Although people might think that they get pleasure from lust, actually, according to the Buddha's teaching, from his experience, as he did a lot of research on this topic, he came to conclusion 
that lust always is painful. Though there may be a little pleasure, but painful. So some people are very much uh, uh, strongly prone to lust and often experience painful results. And um, by nature, uh, some people are more prone to hatred and they very often experience painful results from their hate, anger, resentment. This also is a very normal, natural thing. And some people have uh, um, very pro to delusion, confusion, and uh, uh, very often experience pain, painful results. Some people and now these are the three types of people. They have some are prone to lust. Very often they experience pain from arising from lust. Some people are prone to hatred. Very often they experience painful results from their hatred. Hate. Some people are normally prone to ignorance, delusion. They always, very often experience uh, pain. And in their uh, faculties, five spiritual faculties, uh, such as uh, faith, sadha, energy, virya, sati, mindfulness, samadhi, concentration, wisdom, panya, wisdom. These five faculties arise very slowly sluggishly, sluggishly. Of course, when somebody is normally prone to greed, hatred, and delusion, lust, hatred, and delusion, their spiritual faculties don't grow very easily, very quickly. They grow very, very sluggishly, slowly. and the uh, attainment of liberation, uh, not very quick, not immediately. And the distraction or defilement is not very, not, does not happen very quickly. There are, there are two prone problems. One is they are prone to greed, hatred, and delusion, what they call lust, hatred, and delusion, and therefore they experience pain very often, and therefore, consequently, their faith, effort, then mindfulness, concentration, wisdom. These are more very important spiritual faculties. Five Indriya, Pancha Indriya. We have two types of faculties, eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind. These are six faculties. But here are five spiritual faculties. 
I, ears, nose, and so forth, these six faculties, uh, we had to use very, very carefully. Later on, we may discuss that a little more. But more important is the practice of faith, energy, mindfulness, concentration, and wisdom. These are the, These are the more important important spiritual faculties that one has to practice. And they grow very slowly. And these are four types of people. And there's another group of people, their uh, practice is very painful, but the attainment of liberation or destroying, uh, destroying their uh, taints, defilements, is very quickly. The, exactly like before, somebody is, somebody is prone to, by nature prone to lust, hatred, and delusion, and they experience pain all the time. However, <clears throat> they, uh, they are spiritual faculties like Sadha, Vidyasa, Samadhi, Panya grows very quickly. More, uh, uh, I mean, they grow strongly. Why is that? The previous group had greed, hatred, and delusion. Their spiritual faculty grew very slowly. And the second group of people who have the same greed, hatred, and delusion by nature, they, they, they are prone to them by nature, and they experience pain very often. And yet, their spiritual faculties grow very quickly and destroying taints is easy. Now, why is that? Because these are the people who have practiced them in their previous lives. So, by looking at looking at them superficially, one cannot make a decision. Only the Buddha can make decision, even though their lust, hatred, and delusion are strong. Spiritual faculties are growing faster, and they attain the. They, 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 they can destroy their defilements very quickly. Now, that is the third. Uh, and the third group uh, of people, their uh, uh, practice. Uh, They are greed, hatred, and delusion are not very strong. By nature, they are lust, hatred, and delusion are not very strong by nature. And therefore, they uh, do not experience pain very often, like the other two. And therefore they are spiritual, although they have greed, hatred, and delusion, uh, and 
not, not, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. They don't have great hatred and delusion very strongly. Uh, and therefore they don't experience pain very often. Uh, and they, therefore their five spiritual faculties grow very, still very uh, sluggishly. Although their greed, hatred and delusion are not very strong, their spiritual faculties grow very sluggishly, slowly. And the fourth group of people who are by nature not prone to greed, not prone to hatred, not prone to delusion, and they do not experience pain very often uh, from greed, hatred, and delusion. And therefore, their practice is very smooth. And therefore, their spiritual faculties also grow very quickly, very quickly. They are fed, effort, mindfulness, concentration, and wisdom grow very quickly because the background is very smooth. Background is very smooth. Therefore, friends, you must understand, sometimes when you practice, you may not gain results very quickly. Whereas some other people gain results very quickly and be able to destroy their change very quickly. So you got to understand the why this has happened. Okay. There is another group of people, they are practice, I'm talking about the practice. Uh, Buddha classified these people for our own benefit, and therefore we don't have to give up. We must understand our position, what kind of disposition we have. Once we understand our disposition, we don't try to break our neck. We don't give up. We try to be to, to find out our place in spiritual practice. Okay? Then there are some other people, four types of people. Some people practice mindfulness of impurities of the body. There are 31 parts of the body. We don't become, we don't reject them. We don't become attached to them. But impartially we understand impurity of these 31 parts of the body. Some people call, say 32, but uh, you don't find 32 in the suttas. So in order to make 32, some people add the brain. But in the sutta, brain is not added. Anyway, without that, there are 31 parts of the body. And this meditation is extremely delicate. Uh, so people have to be very careful, mindful, when they practice impurities of the body. We practice it not to hate the body, not to attract to the body, but to understand 
them as they are, not pure, but impure. That is one practice. Next practice is impurity of food. Ahare particular sanya. That means although the food is very pleasant, full of aroma, tasty, as soon as it changes its position from plate to mouth, then it turns into unpleasant situation. You can never deny that. We never deny that. We eat with uh, pleasure and joy and discharge with closing our nose. That is the nature. So it is, we don't have to reject it. We don't have to hate it. That is the nature of food. Then there is another uh, state called uh, con contemplating impermanence in all conditioned phenomena. Impermanence of all conditioned phenomena. Sabbaloke anavirata sanya. One is not becoming attached to anything in the world, that is one practice. And the other practice is that everything is impermanent. Sabba sankare su anicca sanya. Practice mindfulness of impermanence of everything. Now there are four practices. One is the practice of impurity, imp what you call unattractiveness of the part of the body, unattractiveness of food, and impermanence of everything, and unattractiveness of all conditioned things. Sambaloke anabhirata sanya. Anabhirata sanya. And then another practice is the mindfulness of death. Mindfulness of death. When they, they are called uh, the this faculties, uh, power of moral red, and this called uh, five faculties, uh, five spiritual pra uh, practices. Um, they are called the Seka Bala, Seka Bala, the power of practitioner. Trainee's power. Seka means trainee. Bala means power. This, this is the power of our, our power, power in us. Seka Bala. When <clears throat> if we live with this uh, uh, Seka Bala, uh, then he also develop uh, another Bala, they are called Sadda Bala, Hiri Bala, Uttapa Bala, Viriya Bala, 
Panyabala. That means strength of faith. Sadhabala. Strength of faith. Then the power of power of faith and power of uh, uh, the what do you call uh, moral bread Ottap moral moral bread Hiribala means moral shame Ottap means moral bread that is a power, a power that power our practice, energize our practice, and again for energy, virya bala, and panya bala, power of wisdom. These are the different type of spiritual powers. There are five trainees powers as a trainee. Uh, that is called trainees powers. And the other trainees powers are faith, power of faith, power of moral shame to do wrong things. There's a very strong power if we can restrain ourselves. That becomes a very powerful when situation arises out of moral shame. We avoid getting into that commitment and that is a very strong power. And similarly, moral bread also is a power. Fear of uh, punishment, fear of uh, suffering, fear of going to hellish state of existence, fear of regret, and recalling all these powers, one restraint. Then, at the same time, power of effort, virya bala, and panya, wisdom bala. And the, when the when meditator is endowed with these uh, balas, these powers, the <coughs> he is uh, his. Uh, Faith, effort, mindfulness, concentration, and wisdom uh, is still they they are growing them is sluggish in spite of all these five, ten powers, spiritual power, faith, effort, mindfulness concentration and wisdom grow very sluggishly, slowly. And then, just as before, another person who has the same practice is uh, faith, effort, mindfulness, concentration and wisdom grow very quickly and his uh, uh, attainment of liberation, getting rid of his defilements also becomes very quick. And the third also person, his the spiritual faculties, those ten faculties that I mentioned, Train his faculties and uh, regular uh, meditated uh, pra practices. Uh, I mentioned five, ten of them. Uh, they are growing very easily, very easily. 
then that person will be able to overcome hindrances. Greed, hatred, sleepiness and drowsiness, restlessness and worry, and doubt. That person can overcome them very quickly, easily. Because other practice is also very easy. Having overcome all of them, he attained the first jhana. First jhana. Overcome these five hindrances and other uh, impurities in the mind, he will be able to overcome very easily and attain the first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana. And after that, in spite of all this, his faith, his power, power of faith, power of effort, power of uh, mindfulness, power of concentration, power of wisdom grow very slowly. Everything is comfortable. And because of his comfortable, com comfortable state, he may become more uh, sluggish because he gave in to comfort. And therefore his spiritual faculty grow very slowly. And the last person is, is called Sukha Patipada Kippa Binya. All his spiritual faculties, trainers' faculties, all of them grow very smoothly. He attained jhanas very easily, quickly, and at the same time, he will be able to destroy his defilements, overcome his taints, asava kaya, asava kaya. He can destroy these asavas, influxes very quickly and attain liberation very quickly. That's called the one that the practice is present, the attainment of direct knowledge is quick. Both his practice and attainment becomes very easy quick. And that becomes not only due to the practice in this life, but this person has done this practice many, many, many times in his previous life. And therefore, one should not be discouraged, disappointed if the attainment is sluggish, one practice is painful, still one should not give up because all these cases, all these practices and attainments, some pra practice uh, is painful, some practice is pleasant, attainment is slow, sluggish, attainment is quick, all these differences are there in us, so we should not get upset, disappointed. We must continue our practice. And then, one day, and here, this is a very good uh, teaching for us to remember that we are, none of us is hopeless. None of us is hopeless. We can we can have hope, we can have, we can practice, we can attain this state, but some attain quickly, some attain slowly. So okay. One day we will we will attain that state anyway. So keep practicing and uh, 
there are many more things to say, but uh, uh, I I don't have much time today to elaborate the other sections. Uh, anyway, tomorrow you can ask me a question. Next time, next, uh, uh, what you call our practice, would be 29th and 30th. 29th and 30th, we have a retreat called monastic retreat. I give my regular talks to the monks. I don't know how many monks will come. Uh, we expect, expect at least 20 of them. And I give talks on one discourse. I may give five talks on one discourse. That is mindfulness practice according to great uh, uh, discourse on the establishment of mindfulness. That is called Maha Satipatthana Sutta. Maha Satipatthana Sutta. You find it in Diga Nikaya, long discourses of the Buddha. And this is the base of our meditation. So all my talk will be based on that subject, that discourse. Uh, so please uh, be aware, my talk will start at uh, in the morning, uh, 9 to 10.40. 9 to 9.30 we meditate, and then I start talking till um, 10.40. Every day till, uh, let me see, till 30th. 30th will be the last day. Next week onward. Okay? 29. Okay. With this, I want to end this to today's session. And uh, see you tomorrow with questions. Okay. Everyone, Sarna Bante. Everyone, Sarna. Everyone, Sarna Bante. Okay. Everyone, Sarna Bante. All right. Thank you. Now let us see. Thank you, Bante. Everyone, Bante. I need your blessings. I am not well these days, Bante. Thank you, Bante. Sadu, sadu, sadu. Thank you, Bante. Everyone, Sarna. Bante. Okay, let us do our metta practice and then continue our meditation. Okay. okay. May all beings be happy and secure. May all beings have happy minds. Whatever living beings there may be, without exception, weak or strong, Long, large, medium, short, subtle or gross, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to world. May all beings have happy minds. Let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere. Neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another. As a mother would risk her own life, to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart. One should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving friendliness, above, below, and all around, unobstructed, without hatred or resentment. Whether standing, walking, sitting, lying down, or when awake, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here. 
not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed with vision, removing desire for sensual pleasures, one comes never again to birth in the womb. Friends, with this metta thought in background, let us meditate at least for the next 20 minutes. Okay?
By means of this meritorious deed, may I never join with the foolish. May I join always with the wise until the time and at any burn. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realm of existence to the lowest, and all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be free from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, friends. Sad, sad, sad. This is the end of today's session. And I'm glad that you all came. And keep your practice. I want to end this session with my regular metta wish. May all those who are in hospitals suffering from various diseases taken care of by very compassionate doctors, nurses, and hospital staffs, may they recover very quickly and return to their normal life, practice Dhamma, practice meditation. As I mentioned earlier in my talk, never get discouraged. You will be one of those who attain liberation sooner or later. With this uh, hope, continue your practice. And all those doctors and nurses who are taking care of these people find time to practice meditation and themselves liberate from samsari suffering. And may all those who have lost their loved ones recently and remotely, may they find time to overcome their grief, practice Dhamma, practice meditation, understand the nature of life, and liberate themselves from samsari suffering. May all those who are in all different places, poverty-stricken discriminations, and in war zones, in various difficult, problematic situations, may they find time to practice Dhamma, practice meditation, understand the nature of human life, and don't hate anybody. Practice metta, practice meditation, and attain liberation from samsaric suffering. May all those who are in the northern direction, northeastern direction, eastern direction, southeastern direction, southern direction, southwestern direction, western direction, northwestern direction, above, below, and all around. All living beings be well, happy, and peaceful. May they finally attain creation. Okay? Sadhu, sadhu. Oh, thadu, thadu, thadu. Thank you, Bande. Thank you, Bande. Thank you, Bande. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hirvan Saranai Bante. Bante. Buddha Saranai Bante. Hirvan Saranai Bante. 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 Bante